And now, Reformer802.com Real Talk blogger Shanta asks you to ponder this. So this time, I have a short story to share with you, and I titled it, That Which You Remember and Do You, a short story about a chance encounter. I don't know who she was, and in fact, she did not give me her name. Then again, she needed no introduction. I wanted to make sure I was on time for practice, and there is an African dance class finishing up. My face filled the small glass opening in the wooden door that separated us from the students taking the class. As all of the students were invited to show off their movement from the class, there she was. We noticed her out of everyone else because she seemed to send a ripple throughout the room, much like a pebble causes rings of gentle disruption once introduced into a lake. The passion she had in the depth of expression was felt through the bend of her knees, the powerful arc of her arms, a vibration felt from her feet pounding the old wood floor and her fingertips, which radiated that emotion to all of us. Whoa, I want to be like that, we gasped. When the class concluded, we got a chance to talk to her. The co-mingling of the winter and summer seasons upon her tresses faded away, and all I noticed was the youth of her spirit and in her eyes. So I asked her, how long have you been dancing? After a pause and contemplation, she answered by sharing a story of her memory of twirling through a wheat field as a little girl. I was not able to stop. I just twirled and twirled with the wind. Do you have a memory like that? No, we answered. As I continued to listen to the conversation she was having with all of us, as I wrapped my limbs around each vibration, she spoke. I was immediately taken to that wheat field while peering into the smooth surface of her face on a search for the other secrets for how she became. You see, I wanted to know if I'd be that lucky for my buds to grow into a vibrant field of wisdom that glowed life and whispered a certain knowing. When the conversation ended, I don't recall ever thanking her for making her acquaintance, but I stole glimpses of her off and on while she remained in the room. And while I can't quite stitch it all into words, I was left with a smile and grateful for this encounter. Recently, I read someone's Facebook post and they asked everyone, what should I remember? I told the author of this post that it sounded like something you might whisper into someone's ear. So now, consider this my whisper or question to you. What do you remember? And like the woman I met on that day, who remembered her twirling in the wheat field, do you have a remembrance that perhaps brings you back to a piece of yourself that you might have forgotten? <laughs> 